We're already into yeah. astronomical spring, and we've been a few weeks into meteorological spring that kicked off March 1st. Let's take a look back before we look at the trends for maybe a major severe weather spring and maybe a pretty warm one as well. We'll chat about that in a bit, but we did have some chilly temperatures across much of the southern plains in the middle of the country, mainly due to very cold temperatures for those few week periods in February. It was very warm across Canada and the northern plains, upper Midwest for the first two months or so of winter. Slightly above average, Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic, down in the southeast, and especially warm in portions of the northeast. So overall, a little bit above average across the country. La Nina conditions still holding on, but we are going to see likely some strengthening again after decent weakening trend here for the warm season probably holding on to la nina for the next few to several months we did see some warming across near where uh, south america is and this cold pool is also to be mentioned across portions bordering the united states the baja peninsula that will play a little bit of a role with our trough and ridge pattern coming up this is some decent troughing that we're going to see at times back away from the middle portion of the country back into the northeast that's going to allow for some ridging to set up and that'll be pretty potent. It's going to be fairly widespread across the middle of the country, back into portions of the southeast. We'll see some troughing or some ridging here, and we'll see some troughing here. That'll force a little bit of troughing across this portion of the nation and a lot of ridging elsewhere. That's going to be kind of our main pattern, as you can see here, looking now at this animation map that we're going to have a lot of those yellow colors across the united states that does favor above average temperatures let's look in the short term over the next couple of weeks chilly temperatures across portions of the rockies into portions of the southwest unless you get into california then it's going to be above average and widespread above average conditions across the ohio valley southeast and especially very warm in New England. But when we take a look at the models for the whole spring as a whole, Canadian, very warm. European, very, very similar with a lot of warm weather. GFS, it's generally mild, but cooler for sure across the West and not anywhere near as warm across the East. Not sure if we're really buying that yet, as you'll see in a moment. Further onward with the forecast, precipitation anomalies. This is where we're gonna be pretty wet overall unfortunately very dry conditions and you don't need it we're already in a decent drought across much of the southwest and with more months of very dry that's likely going to set up a very dry and a very warm summer could be a little 2012 ish there but well above average precip and this is a change because we're actually below average over the last little bit across midwest ohio valley and slightly below further south when we take a look at the temperature side of things we really need to draw our attention to this change where we're seeing chili over the next week or two it's going to be well above average most likely and that's going to push any of that cool and that troughing well across portions of the northwest and that's also going to allow for the rainier pattern but overall a lot of warmth across really the whole country there as you can get, get a good look at that Oof, very warm spring maybe setting up a very warm summer as well severe weather wise this is compared to average so i think your midwest hoosier alley into portions of the western ohio valley are going to be pretty active here once we go into portions of april and especially may i think you're missing out on a lot of the activity that would have normally occurred in february and in march across the steep south dixie alley region but Carolina Alley, probably above average activity with some boundaries of air likely. Thank you so much for watching this spring forecast. Share it with your friends and family if they can find any value with it. We would definitely appreciate that. And for any sort of warm season business operation decisions, having an accurate descriptive weather forecast that's for your operation with impacts in mind, it's not like apps. It's not like the TV forecast. It's going to be more specific to you. That's what we're here for at NeoWeather. Check us out.